Hello, welcome to another video tutorial on Shiny and in today's video we will see how to use um, radio buttons widget in Shiny. Let's get started. Let me make sure that I am in the correct working directory. Yes. Um, I already have the server.r and ui.r files ready so I can go ahead and run them using the run app uh, I'm in the directory I'm, I'm in the R working directory where these files are stored so here is what we are going to make today if you see part of it is what we made in the last session uh, in the last video we saw how to uh, uh, how to uh, get how to use the text input to enter the name we used the text input for name and also for age and this time we are going to use the uh, radio button to select the gender so if I select male we see that um, whatever is the selection is printed in the in the main panel okay so we are in RD studio and I already have the codes ready with the text input and all we need to do is to add the code for radio buttons okay so before anything let's go ahead and save our files and so if we see here this is shiny UI so it must be UI.R make sure that you are in the right directory where you want to save these files and let's go ahead and save the file and I will call it as UI.R and this file I will call it as server.r and let's go ahead and click on run app we can also type here uh, run app function and we can run the app so here we go we have uh, a part of the app where we left last time and so here we can enter the name and age and what we are going to add is here one more widget and that's the radio button for uh, to in, in a, so that user can select the um, gender so we will come to the sidebar panel and in order to add the radio button widget we have to use the radio button function radio buttons and it works the same way we have the ID if you recall from our last video so since it is for gender let me give the ID as gender a label which appears uh, above the radio buttons and I will say select the gender and the default is nothing I just want to leave it as space so this is the uh, basically whatever user is going to select can be referenced or accessed through this ID gender and so this will behave as input to our server function and if you see I already have the um, the the render statements or the assignment of input to the output variables for name and age and similarly we will do for gender so I can say I can name my um, output variable as my gender and we will render it in the similar fashion in this case it will be input dollar gender because that is the name of the input ID okay so we are done with the server side um, computation we rendered the text uh, and assigned it to the output and we are going to print it here so for printing we have to go to the uh, main panel and we will say text output my gender and let's go ahead and run the app ok 
Okay, I missed a comma. Comma is really painful. Okay, so here is the app once again. Oops. Oh, we didn't define the list. I'm sorry. So let's go back and we have to define the list, the options, the radio button options. And so we define it using list. And we will say male, female and we'll close the parenthesis and then the default value is null okay once again let's go ahead and run that and here we see now we have the radio button and let's go ahead and enter the name age male and we see that reactively um, shiny is displaying whatever user selection was in the main panel.